Okay, so what I want to do is I want to start animating this. Uh, one last thing I got to do, I was just going in here and I'm quickly going to uh, create some layers here so that I've got this organized. Geo underscore layer. So I just took all the groups and I put them on their own layers so I can hide the do not touch group and I can hide the skeleton group and I can take the geo group here and if I click this twice we get a little R in there that means I can't select my geometry. Um, and let's see my camera is bugging me a little bit. I'm just gonna go here to view and camera attribute editor and uh, if I go and I take this one here the near clipping plane is freaking out a bit here because I've got a big scene so I'm gonna go and hit one and that should fix it until I zoom out to a certain degree and then I'll start to see it fragging again back there okay great so we're calling that good <clears throat> and let's put the grid back on and my grid is just really really small down here okay no big deal I'm gonna go and create something to pick up and I'm gonna pick up something simple I'm gonna pick up a cube and my cube is sitting down here Let's put it over to this side. It's very, very small. A very small cube. I'll make it bigger. Um, and I'm just going to take this cube. Let's see, is that big enough to pick up? Eh, it's big enough to pick up. I'm just going to move my pivot point. I'm going to hold down D and V at the same time. There's a certain strange lag on my computer right now. Just looking around. I guess I have a few things open. Let's hope that's not a problem. Okay, so that's on, should be on the floor more or less right there. Um, and let's see, is it a good spot? Good spot right here. I'm just going to delete the history, freeze out the transformations, and I could texture this. I could make this an interesting cube, some interesting object to pick up. I'm going to call this box zero one. Okay, and <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go and Let's see how many frames we got here. 120, that's plenty for this. Okay, and you can do whatever you want with this. But 120, I'm gonna take this controller and I'm gonna take this controller. I kind of always like to have them to have the same keyframes down here. And you can, I kind of block those in. I always think about this as pose to pose. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard. That puts a red tick here and then I can go over here and I'll put another red tick here. Nothing has actually happened. Okay, I'm going to go from 20 to say 30. Let's take this and I'll... Oh, damn it, I put it on the wrong side. And one other evil, stupid thing. I forgot to go in here and bind this. Just hold on. Uh, this one here is... Is that the one or is it this one? This one here is not bound, so I'm just going to quickly fix that. Modeling, rigging, skeleton, skin, bind skin. Boom, fixed back over here to whatever it doesn't matter if I go there or not um, <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna hide that again and I'm gonna turn that back so I don't accidentally select it I just realized the box is on the wrong side to start this off with so I'm gonna start it on this side okay and here it goes again um, if I select the controllers okay so we've got the keyframes here and at 30 I'll pull this down and I can be creative about this. I can put this anywhere I want to. And maybe I'll just freeze it right there too. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm going to move this over top. And I'll rotate it. Whoop. So when I rotate it, if I hold down J, remember you can rotate it at 15 degree increments. And I can kind of position that. And let's see, if I look at this from the side view... I can kind of figure out where I want to be centered, something like that. I'm just going to eyeball it and I'll say that's fine. To me, a little bit of crash is not a big deal. Okay, and maybe we'll come down a bit and I'll open up my claws. Whoop! Yes! Open them up like that. Okay, and I'll hit S. Should also make sure I keyframe that thing. The base, that is. Oh, a little bit of crash. I'll make sure I film it from over on this side and no one will notice. Okay. So, now I'll just check out the animation. Bloop. Bloop. There. Sometimes I like to not make it overlap like that. I might come down and then open up the claws or something like that, but whatever. That's good enough. 
And um, then between, say, 30 and 35, I'll take the claws and I'll bring them in to do a little bit of crash. Okay, like it's picking up this box. And I'll hit S and I'll keyframe that. And then between 35 and 45, let's just pick it up. Okay, so I'll pick it up here and here. Uh, again, I gotta watch out that I don't crash too much here. Keep it on this side, no one will notice. Um, how about that, or I can make the piston longer and come out further to the sides, maybe put another one on the other side. That would be interesting looking. Um, anyway. Uh, okay, cool. And I'm going to hit S right here. And I'll also make sure I put a keyframe on this thing here. I can put one here too, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of know. I've already got a bit of a plan of what I'm going to do, so. Okay, so it comes down, picks it up. <clears throat> now I'm going to do the cheat, okay? The cheat one, when I pick up something, this is a simple, simple, crazy cheat. Frame 35, actually I'll put a keyframe there. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this box and I'm going to make a duplicate, control D. I made a duplicate box. I'm going to take that box and I'm going to parent it directly to this controller. Okay, so now there is a box already in hand. And at frame 35, I'm going to take that box and I'm going to go to Visibility. And I'm going to right click on it, Highlight Visibility, and I'm going to Key Select it. I'm going to go back one frame. Take that Visibility and I'm going to hit Zero, Enter. And I'm going to right click on that again, Key Selected. So now, that box is in the hand and becomes visible just at that frame. Go back to this frame here, I'm going to take box number one, I'm going to take this Visibility and I'm going to Key Selected. I'll go ahead one frame and I'm going to make that zero and key selected. Magic. Okay, so starts here, bloop, comes down and picks it up. Now this isn't going to work in some studio settings, but this is, if you're working on a little single person film, this is fine. Okay, quick little trick. And maybe what I'll do is I'll pick it up here at 45 and... Um, let's go in and grab, say, the rotate tool. We'll go over to, say, 45, between 45 and 65. I'll rotate it around. There. And I'll hit S. Hit S again. I hit S, just in case I'm slurring that too much. Okay, so it picks it up. Doop, 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 doop. And again, I'm putting the keyframes on both of them, and then I can, as I block this out, I can start to fart around later on. Like, I can go in here between 20 and 25, and I can say, you know what, I'd like it to this to rotate into place just a little bit faster. And maybe I'd like the claws to do something else here, just in between. So, you can do that any way you want. If I come in and do this... Uh-oh. <laughs> My little dog is being demanding in the background. I don't know if you heard that. Um, so I can do that and horse around and start to tweak everything up. Um, I want to put this down now. I happen to know that at frame 35, this was down on the ground and that was in the Y axis. That was almost perfect. What I can do is, um, I can middle click drag from 35 to say, we'll give this another 10 frames to put it down right there. And I'll hit S. When I do that, it picks it up and bloop. Goes over here, puts it down in that exact same position. But it's a little bit different. Okay, so I'll take that. Doop, doop. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and so now it's putting it down. And then I want to release, release it, set it free. I'll go in here and I'll, uh, between 75 and 80, let's go and take those claws and open them up. Again, I might have to figure out some other way to make this look good so it doesn't crash too bad. Maybe I'll do it all in black. No one will know. Okay, and I'll hit S. And, uh, bloop, so it comes in and does that. And then do I want to get this position, say, of uh, what it's like this? We'll middle click our way over here between 80 and, say, 90. S. So it Hold on a second. So here, when I middle click my way over to 90 and I hit S, 
For some reason that keyframe isn't registering. Oh, it's because I have the base selected. Okay, let's try it again. So. Here, middle click, over here, and S. Okay, great. So between 75 and 80, it goes up again. Okay, so rate of frame 75 when it places it on the ground. Holy cow, I messed up. Just hold on a second. Uh, let's take this and this. Undo. Smoking crack again. Got distracted by my little dog, and then all of a sudden, what happens? Okay, so between 20 and 90. S. So we go here, open up the claws, and then it goes... Again, I don't have the right one selected. 20, 90, S. Okay. There we go. And so, when it pops the box down here, I'm going to select this box, and I'm going to make a duplicate. Currently this box is parented to this controller. If I go edit, unparent, uh -oh, someone's visiting me, um, and I unparent, it's no longer part of that so now it's on the ground, okay, and I'll take it so that this one here is visibility key selected, I'll go back one frame, turn it off, Right click, key selected, select this one, key selected with it on, then go ahead one frame, and turn it off and key it again. My god. So, the box is there, picks it up, puts it over there, on the ground, magic. Okay, and my controllers are sitting up here, okay great. 90, we'll put this over here to say 110, I'll hit S. And maybe I'll even take this and make it only 110 frames long. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, and I can maybe make sure that this one here is exactly the same as the end. Okay, and now when I press play, I'll just check it out. There you go. And... I always, whenever I'm doing this demo, I think it looks better if I take this thing and if, say, frame 20, it's keyframe where it is, but if I go to frame 1, whoop, yes. Okay, so now it comes in, boink. and then this one it magically appears at frame 75, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit uh, S. And then between this and say 110, the end here, take that and boop, 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 S. And then when I press play, we got the animation working. And, eh, okay, so that works. And I could spice that up, I could make it more interesting. And, but I'm going to say that's good for now. Um, just trying to think, is there anything else? Nope, 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 no. I think I'm good. So that's it.